20 years. Yes, you heard me. 20 years. And half of you watching this probably wasn't even born then. But after 20 years, Farmer Mercy cheer team, Roll Dance, will be competing in Daytona. Now you may ask yourself, competing in Daytona, what is that? Well, today we're all going to debunk what that is. We have Ansley right here and Kathleen. There are two amazing seniors on Firm University cheer team, and they are the captains, and they're here to explain to you what Daytona is, the whole process, how they prepare, and how they feel about it, because they have been the longest people on the team, and they have worked so hard for this moment. So, Kathleen and Ansley, I'm so glad you guys can join me today. How y'all doing? Good. Thank you for having us. Yes, I'm very excited. Well, so, for the viewers out there, they probably know nothing about competing. They know probably nothing about cheer. And just to clarify, you guys, cheer is a sport. You guys can debate me in the comments if you want to, but y'all not ready for that battle. So, <laughs> let's just really talk about, like, what the process is for Daytona and, like, what is Daytona and what does it mean to both of you guys to be able to compete after 20 years? Um, I guess I'll start. Um, so, Daytona is actually NCA which is the National Cheerleading Association. And um, it is obviously hosted in Daytona. Um, and Furman this year will be competing in the Intermediate All-Girls Division I. Um, and it's gonna be super exciting. We're gonna go down there next week um, and compete on Thursday and Friday. And I think everybody's really pumped for it. Have anything to add? Yeah, so NCA Nationals or Collegiate Nationals is basically the equivalent of the like the College World Series for baseball or like the Super Bowl to NFL cheerleading. It's the biggest competition that you can go to for collegiate cheerleading and you have to have an invitation. Not everybody can just go if they want to. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's really exciting. We've been working really hard for this and it took a long time for us to um, sort of convince athletics that we were capable of this and that we could go and show them what, what our team is made of and put Firm University on the map again. So what is this process going to look like when you guys arrive to Daytona? Like how long is the routine? Like can you just break down to the viewers in language like terms what they should expect when they watch you guys for Daytona? Mm -hmm. um, so our routine is 2 minutes and 15 seconds long, which at first does not seem like a lot, but we're doing a lot in that routine. We're tumbling, stunting, doing pyramids, baskets, dancing. There's there's a lot that goes into it. Mm -hmm. So when we go down to Daytona, we'll have a day where we just get to practice. So um, next Wednesday, we'll go down, we'll just practice, do our thing, get ready. And then Thursday, we will have um, about just under 20 minutes to warm up everything we need for our routine, go out, we get one chance to perform it as best we can, we'll get a score, and that's half of our total score for the entire competition. And then we'll do it again the second day and get a placement out of all the teams we're competing against. So can you just tell us, what is your favorite part of the team? What is your not favorite part of the team? Give us a little bit of the tea on this. <laughs> Um, well, I think my favorite part of the routine are, is probably our pyramids. Um, I just think it's really fun to do, and it's at the very end of the routine, which is when everybody's kind of tired, and I think that it really is very telling that we're still able to do the pyramid at the very end with everybody being exhausted, and I think that just makes it the best part of the routine for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think pyramid is easily the most difficult thing we do in a routine, and it requires pretty much all of the members of the squad um, working to perform one really large skill, so it's really impressive to watch, but it also means it's that much harder to perform, so when you're tired, it's really difficult. Um, I think that's probably why my favorite part is the dance, because it's the very last thing after the pyramid, and it's really hard to mess it up, and it's really fun, and when you get to that part of the routine, you get to just use everything that's left in your tank. You just pedal to the metal and just let it all out. It's really fun. Do you guys have anything you just want to add about Daytona or like Firm University cheer in general? Um, I think I'm just really excited that we're getting this opportunity. Um, coming to Furman four years ago, I did not think I would be able to do this at Furman. Um, and I am very excited and very thankful that I am. So. <laughs> When our coach first approached us with the idea of competing, I was convinced that we would be working towards something that we would never get to see come to fruition. I was convinced that 
if our team got to compete again, we would be watching as spectators because it would happen long after we were members anymore. And it's really exciting that um, in just a few short years, we were able to make that happen and we get to be part of it because I never thought I would get the opportunity to, com to compete again. And I'm really glad it's with this team and these people. Well, there you have it, folks. Berman University's two seniors and give you the whole entire scoop about them attending Daytona. Please, don't forget to donate to Firm and Cheer. You can go to their Instagram page or their Facebook to send a nice donation. They will really love that. They need a new mascot, new uniforms. Come on, you guys. Help <laughs> them out. Help them out. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm your host, Jay Walker. Please tune in to us at www.can'tstopthefrog.com. Thank you.